In this video, we are going to discuss about substring in Java. Now, firstly, we all know that strings are nothing but basically defined as an array of character. If there is a certain array of character, then that is defined as string. So what do we mean by substring now? So substring is a part of string. That's why we call it a substring. In other words, substring is subset of other string. The Java substring method in Java string class, there is a method. Substring method returns a new string that is a substring of any particular string. And the substring method is an overloaded method also. That is, it can have more number of methods. So substring is a method and that actually fetches strings from a particular main string that is given. For example, a string given is Java. Now, if I want to fetch substring for it, that what it could be? It could be J, it could be JA, JAV, okay, and similarly AVA, VA, V, these all can be the substring and many others which can be fetched from this particular word or this string Java. For that, we use a substring function that is in our string class. Now, substring functions, there can be different methods under substring. For example, if I am mentioning the very first method that is string, substring, and I'm mentioning here the int begin index. That is from which index I want to fetch the substring which index I want to fetch the substring of the thing. For example, we know that as strings are an array of characters, so in array the indexing begins with zero. So let's say for this Java only, the indexing will be J, A, V, A. So zero, one, two, three. So if I want to fetch a substring from one, so I can give here that string substring one. So it will fetch or start giving me substring from one index or the first position of this particular string. That is from the begin index it will give me. And we know that index starts from zero. So we have to keep that thing in mind that indexing starts with zero. Similarly, if we can give an int begin index also, then we can also give the end index also. That from this to this string only, I want to fetch the substring from this to this index. What we have to do for that, we have to give int begin index and lastly, I have to mention the end index that from which last index I want to fetch the string. For example, if we give that uh, public uh, string substring method, we initialize and then we mention a begin index that from this to this position, we have to fetch the string. For example, writing this particular string substring, then I write in the particular str substring or any other thing. I give the index that I want to start fetching from first position and end at second. So it will give me from that particular place or that index only that which substring I want to fetch. Now this is how we can fetch a substring from a string. Now let us see that how can we write a program to fetch all the substrings which are there with the help of substring function that is sub str function which is there in Java with using this particular method. How can we do that? So firstly after creating a class you can create with your own name whatever class you want to mention and then we have to execute a for loop but before that what I will do is I will initialize a method and that will be static void substring and then I will give string str int n. These are the two parameters which I am passing in this method or this particular function to print all the substring. Executing two for loops, I will be executing two for loops. The first for loop will be int i equals to 0, i less than n, i plus plus. And in that also I will execute another for loop for int j equals to i plus 1, j less than equals to n and j plus plus. So this will print me what this particular function when call will do, it will print the substring from index i to j which we will mention or which we will give of a particular string. And how it will do that? It will compare with the length in the string. When I have discussed about the string and string functions video, we have discussed about a function dot length. So it will fetch the complete length and then it will return me a substring. So in the void main method, for example, if I initialize a particular string, let's say string s equals to, I give any string such as a, b, c, d, e. This is the string which I have given. Then 
when I call this particular method substring, what it is going to do? Substring str, str dot length. So these are the two parameters which I have passed. That means it asks for a string. So okay, this particular string we are giving that is string str here and int n that which particular n position it is going to fetch or return the particular substring then we are giving the complete length of the string to return the number of substring which are present in that particular string so let us execute this program and see how it works so here you can see that i have written the complete code which i just now explained you and the string which we have given is program so it is going to return all the strings starting from the zeroth index to this particular n that is the last index of this particular string comparing it with the length that is the total length we have given in the last index with the help of the function which we have created substring that is having parameters as string str and int n. So let us execute this particular program and when I execute this program you can see here in the console it will return me all the substrings which can be fetched from this particular word program. You can do it for any other word also by just changing it here or you can use the scanner class from taking the input also. For more concepts we will look into upcoming videos.